Hi, this is Marcus Neto for Bluefish Design Studio. In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about a website that we created for the Mississippi Alabama Sea Grant Consortium. Um, now, for those of you that may not be familiar with uh, the Sea Grant organizations, um, they are the ones that hold and help uh, uh, environmental groups with their grants, and so they'll they'll help them get funding for all the different studies that they're doing. Now. We've worked with MASGC, and we're currently building a website for Texas Sea Grant, um, and we're really uh, we're really proud of the help and the the work that we've been able to do in that in that uh, industry. So, but as you can see, we've got um, just a carousel here at the top where they can draw uh, t draw attention to content that's deeper into the site. Um, one of their main uh, things is they have different focus areas where um, they they kind of focus in their energies. Um, and helping and make a difference in, uh, in their local uh, community. Um, we have some news items over here on the uh, right-hand side. And then we added uh, links to their photo gallery, uh, which also, actually, it's not just a photo gallery. They also do uh, video, but uh, none of these are actually video because there's a little play button that appears on the ones that are video. And then deeper uh, than into this, they have the ability to uh, pull in uh, different pieces of uh, content for the calendar publications and featured programs. So anyway, but what I want to show you is um, that these uh, focus areas, that we've created these in such a way that they have really um, good control over all the content that exists on this site. So if you come here, you'll notice that there's an image uh, that uh, kind of makes the, the visual impact here. And then we have some publications that are brought in. We have some news that's brought in. And uh, we also have a gallery, uh, links for the uh, gallery here on the left-hand side. Um, and we have some content. And then on the right-hand side, we have some projects. And then we have some different programs that are, that are listed here as well. So now if I go into the uh, control panel for Expression Engine, which is uh, what you see here, um, if I go to content and then edit uh, and then focus area, we're going to go into the channel for uh, focus area. And I think, yeah, I clicked on Healthy Coastal Ecosystems, so I'll show you that one. And basically what you have here, as it's loading up, um, is an entry in a channel that allows us to control all the different aspects of that, uh, that page. So they can load in different images for, uh, for that page. And this is channel images. It'll actually resize those images uh, for them and, and crop them to the correct size so that it, um, it appears correctly at the top of the page. The main uh, draw for having the page is to actually describe what it is that that focus area is for. So they have, some, they have an area here for content, and as you can see, um, we've got a, a WYSIWYG. I believe this is WYGWAM. We've got a WYSIWYG that actually allows them to um, do some basic formatting and stuff like that. One of the things that isn't showing up on that particular page is um, related links. So if there were links on other sites, maybe a sister organization, uh, maybe MASGC and the Mo Mobile Bay National Estuary Program are working on something together, they could click on the plus here and they could put in the text for the link and then they could paste in um, a URL over here on the right hand side and Expression Engine would actually, or the, the code that we've added to Expression Engine would actually build that link for them. Now. Here's where things get fun. So um, all of these uh, items on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, we wanted to give them control over. So um, we had to make a decision about whether we were going to just make this automatic and that we were going to bring in the last three or four news items that they posted to the website or if we were going to give them control. And we opted to give them control. Same thing with the gallery, publications, and projects. So what they do is they come here into this entry and they can select, you know, items and bring them over to the right-hand side. If it appears over here on the right-hand side, then it actually shows up on that page. And so um, they don't have a contact uh, listed. I won't, I won't mess with that. But they also have um, additional articles that they could choose and pull over and, um, and additional gallery items that they could pull over um, and the programs that they could pull over. And then, of course, um, the various projects that are associated with that. So all they have to do then is click on submit and any changes that they've made will actually appear on that page. Now this is a live site, so I won't, I won't do that, but, um, but I do think it's kind of handy how we've given them access 
to control all the different content that they may want to appear on this page. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, record one or two more of these things and uh, show you a little bit about uh, some of the other aspects of this site. So if you're interested, uh, check out our YouTube channel. Um, and also you can see all of these at bluefishds.com. And if you have any questions, just email me. I am Marcus at bluefishds.com. Thank you.